Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. We're gonna play Klonoa, Door to Phantom Isle. Can you guess why? I shouldn't have to tell you. It's a it's a very Xmas. Oh, we're not playing Xmas. Uh yeah, let's erase this file and we'll enter a name. Uh it's Klonoa's 25th anniversary, and there's a brand new uh, announcement available for a new Klonoa game. I think we're ju I'm just going to call this um, Bun. B U N. As I struggle to figure out where letters are on the alphabet, the name is correct. Let's set options. Uh, options are correct. Trust me. And we are ready to start. This is the original PlayStation Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. And uh, I will be just a little bit quiet during some of the cutscenes and things because I want you to be able to experience it for yourself if you've never had them uh, presented to you. So this is how the game begins. And it's just going to be a fun, easy breezy playthrough of Klonoa. I'm super excited for a brand new release of both Door to Phantom Isle and its PS2 sequel, uh, Lunatea's Veil, coming to the Nintendo Switch and other platforms in the future. Uh, I look forward to being able to play these games on Steam with some kind of crazy 4K mod and uh, and ray tracing support because <laughs> I'm sure someone will find a way you know they will so I will I will hush up for just a bit here so that we can pay more attention to this glorious little FMV sequence I've always been a fan of these just because, uh, you know, they've tried to recreate this in some of the more modern, like Klonoa on the Wii and things like that, and it's just not as magical. The detail's just not there. It's too bad. Look at him, and he's so cute. <laughs> okay. We now begin in Vision 1 of 1. Look at that 2.5D goodness. Alright. What was that? It's from Bell Hill, says Hoopal. Sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go, Klonoa! It begins! The beginnings of Gale, Breeze Gale, the Wind Village. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna go for a 100 percent Um I haven't played this in a in a while. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm playing uh, with a controller. Because I, uh, I got my... If you've been paying attention to some of my more recent runs of uh, Jack and Dexter, I went and got my uh, my controller replaced. Um, I'm using a, one of my older Xbox Afterglow controllers. I've always been a fan of this one. It just, it just felt right. I like it. These little purple guys are called Zippos. And these... Adorable little orange-looking dudes are called moos. They just kind of... They just kind of hang around. Um, I need to get... I'm gonna at least... I'm gonna at least grab him so that I can... There we go. So yeah, Klonoa is, uh, Klonoa is a cabot. And, uh... There we go. He has a, a little ring that he's able to inflate enemies with. Yes, you heard that right. Halt, who goes there? Up here, you fool! 
The old man. How dare you go through my tower without even saying hello. Hold it right there. Harumph. Harumph, harumph. Hey, kid, you shouldn't come sneaking around here. Ooh, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. I'm Baloo the Mason. So, I looked at my beautiful Lefice outside. It's my masterpiece. Hey, if you guys are Klonoa fans and you pronounce characters differently, that's okay. <laughs> She's the legendary diva who sings the song of her birth. Nope. Didn't know that. Kids these days. Oh, by the way, and if you hear noises from outside, I got the windows wide open because it is humid as balls. And I, I just can't deal with it anymore. So he's building this tower to reach the Moon Kingdom, which is where Lefice lives. Yupao says, I wonder if it's really possible to reach the Moon Kingdom with this. Ho! Yipe. I love this. It's all, it's all just... I'm assuming they were pre-rendered, you know, CGI, but uh, turned into sprites. And it's just a lot of little animated sprite work. It's, it's really beautiful. All right. Thanks, Balu. So long. Chawump. And away he goes. Okay, we will continue our adventure. Get a little checkpoint. And again, I'm just playing to have some fun. I'm I'm excited for the release of uh, the 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 new the new Switch Klonoa uh, compilation album. I guess. I mean, it's been it's been a long time coming, honestly. Um, Klonoa fans have been going crazy, myself included. All right. We are almost through the first level. Let's grab you. Pick all these up. That was the Mirror Spirit, which gives us a multiplier when we pick up Dream Stones. When we get a uh, hundred Dream Stones, we are able to uh, pick up a new life. And as you can see, there are six trapped Phantomillions in each stage. And they will all contribute towards this lovely little uh, in-game in menu in between the levels. Uh, I won't bother saving for now. We'll save, uh... We'll save in between our... Our episodes. Whoop. There we go. Let's just have some fun today. Ow! Got it. <laughs> that was close. I am a bit rusty. I have not played Klonoa in quite a while. Oh, another little Moo. Just kind of walking around with a shield. He gets to be yellow for some reason. They're all just little different colored little enemies. I think it's a really clever game. A lot, most of the enemies just kind of wander around and get in your way. You know, they're not really, they're not really doing anything. They're not actively trying to attack you. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Also, 2.5D, I love this, right? Super cool. There we go. A little bit more. And, oh, we're just barely going to make it. <laughs> Okay, we've made our way outside. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> We're just having fun today. And there we go, right on through. 
Let's see if I can do this right. I haven't done this in a, in a long time. Shit. Not like that. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. Jump up here. And then we want to do like this. Uh, I think the way we want to do this is... Something like that. Oh, maybe that was wrong. <laughs> I'm, I think there's a way to get like a good hundred and... You can... There's... So I think it's like 150 Dreamstones per stage total. Something like that. Um, on, on some of these though, if you're clever, you can get more than 150. Or whatever the, whatever the total is. And you can see, like, here's a little hidden one, right? There's a shadow. There we go. This game holds a, a, a big... a big spot in my heart, because it was one of the first PlayStation games I ever owned. I did... I owned this game before I even owned a uh, PlayStation memory card in order to save my progress. So I used to play this with my sister all the time. And we would just play for as long as uh, my dad would let me, uh, and then, um, and then we would get to a, we'd get to a point, and then uh, we'd be like, you know, hey, turn it off. I'm like, all right. Hmm. <laughs> excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I've I've played this game a lot. Maybe not as much as some other people out there. You never know. But I've been a big fan of Klonoa for a long time. It arguably uh, a big inspiration musically for me. Um. Oh, I know there was a little hidden one around here somewhere, but I think I missed it. That's okay. I'm pretty sure it just had a, uh, a heart in it. Maybe there was a life. I don't remember. In theory, it should be fine. I don't. Uh, I don't expect I'll. Be getting a game over anytime soon. Thankfully, lucky for you. All right, we finally reached Bell Hill. He best says, "Shh." Quiet. Ah, it is Levice for sure. I'm honored, Gaddius, your darkness. Hmm? It's the diva we heard about. Ah, I love this guy's voice, man. I can't allow you to save the world with your silly song of rebirth. There's no need for rebirth. Should I do like a cool voice too? I shall. <clears throat> Can I do it? Can I do a cool voice? I shall imprison you in darkness and destroy the world. <laughs> Joke on the other hand is like, <laughs> where's that pendant, sire? This is strange. I can't find it. Uh, they are looking for a pendant. But who are they? Hmm. Mice. Very well. The vice is in our hands. Joke, I'm counting on you to take care of the rest. What are they up to? Well, they're taking the vice. And he's disappearing. Come out, come out, my little mice. Alright. I see we have little puny mice here. Well, I'll have to deal with you. I don't know why I'm giving him that kind of like Monokuma voice from, uh... <laughs> I've been watching too much Grumps. Oh, my kids these days don't have any manners. Too bad. I'm going to have to punish you now. Alrighty. It's showtime! Big O! Showtime! Alright, well, don't worry. I know how to beat this guy. It starts like that. Let's see, he's gonna jump over me. There we go. Yep, there's another one down. 
Here we go. Ah, oh, missed. Double jump. Alright, let's wait for him to jump over me. And... Alright, one more hit, and the Rangalungo is down. Down and down for the count. Nice try, buddy. That's cute. What are you up to? Let's see. Can I make you just jump on over me like that? Let's do it. You're done. You're done, son. Kabloom. Eek. Just, just you wait. I won't forget this. And joke is out of the picture, folks. Something fell. A pendant. Mephice and a moon-shaped pendant. Let's ask Grandpa about all this. Okay. Ah, Klonoa. You've really done it this time. This is a crest from the Moon Kingdom. The Moon Kingdom. It's the mystical kingdom they speak of in legends. What about that guy in the tower? Yeah. Is there really a moon kingdom? Mm, perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. Well, I'm worried about that Gaudius character who kidnapped the girl. Either way, we need to take matters into our own hands now. Klonoa, tell Forlock Forest Granny about this. I'm on my way. The moon kingdom. Hmm. And just like that, we have finished Visions 1 of 1 and 1 of 2. Alright, we're going to keep going. I'm going to save the game here. Fantastic. So, it, it, I looked down in the bottom corner there, 97. So it looked like I missed just a couple of uh, Dreamstones. That's too bad. I'm not going to stress too hard. We're just here to have fun. And now we are deep in the dying forest. Forlock. Hey. Love these little guys. So yeah, if you've never played this game, um, I mean, one of two options. Either sit here and enjoy watching me play this game for you. I'm I'm happy to do that. <laughs> or, you know, uh, go get the game yourself and play it yourself. I, 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 I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. If you, uh, if you enjoy, you know, most of the games that you see me play on this channel, then uh, there's a good chance you're going to enjoy Planoa. There we go. Alright, now we got another one of these coming up here, so let's be careful about this, right? One, two, three, and four. Alright, cool. You may have just noticed that too. Um, there's usually two, but there are, there are multiple songs that are used for each location in the game. Um, and uh, usually it's like an inside and outside kind of theme. And the music plays back seamlessly um, as you transition between these two those two locations. Super cool. I always wish that uh, more games would do stuff like that, you know? They don't, unfortunately. Um, but whenever they do, it's always really cool. I think it's I think it's a big deal. Boing, boing, boing. Intruder! Who are you? Wait a second. I'm Klonoa from the Wind Village. Leave me alone. Get your fork away from me. Strangers wandering around recently. Door with picture of key. Need key. 
use this key. Thanks. One key, one door. Forget not. Will do. Farewell. <laughs> so we're slowly being introduced to more puzzle elements of of Klonoa. At its at its heart, I feel like this game is a uh, a puzzle platformer, right? There's a uh, there's definitely platform platforming elements, right? But I uh, that helps. There we go. Um, but there's a lot of puzzle elements that are involved in uh, making your way through the platforming sections of this game. There we go. We got our key. Oh, now we just gotta wait for this little... this little leaf. These things are slippery, too. You can fall off those really, really easily. Okay. So again, we are on our way to Forlock Forest's Granny. Ow. Oops. <laughs> Cute little guys. Whoa! That's always fun. You get a little, little bit of extra jump in your jump. Alrighty. Shit. There we go. Alright, continuing our way through... Uh-oh. There we go. It's okay, we're close to the end of the stage anyways. There we go. Alright. What are you... Are you thinking of going to be on here? Says the little soldier. Uh, that's our plan. No can do. The fairy tree has withered, so you can't go any further. Oh, we're stuck? And who are you, bro? I'm a soldier from Jugpot, the Water Kingdom. I was on an official mission to see Forlock's granny. Looks like I'm stuck. Did something happen in Jugpot? That's a state secret. Meanie. <laughs> little Hupo. Ah, and we thought Granny could save our king somehow. King? Save? Uh, nothing, nothing. It's not safe out here, so little kitties should go home. Yeah, everyone thinks we're just kids. Something's strange. I wonder if it has something to do with that Gaudius. Looks like we can't go any further. So maybe we should go to Jugpot. All right, let's go. Okay, so we couldn't continue any further into Forlock Forest. Instead, we will have to make our way to Jugpot, the Water Kingdom. We'll just go ahead and move on through. And again, we'll save uh, after we complete the next stage. Vision two of two, beyond the backwards waterfall. The Kingdom of Jugpot. <laughs> that was funny. All, all I wanted to do was just get up here and get those gems, but I wanted to be I wanted to be silly. Oh, and there we go. The waterfall. Whoa! I can't do Hubao's voice. It's just too cute. It's flowing backwards. And that's why water to forelock has stopped. And the forest's trees have withered. We're gonna have to get to the castle and find out how. And away we go. Boy, I'm impatient. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just getting hurt all over the place too.
Oops. Uh, well, that works. <laughs> that was cute. I got I got lucky with the uh, hit detection there. I think. I didn't think you could stand on that platform so close to the moon without getting uh, oops, without getting hit. Beautiful. Have I have I me I mentioned right the the music in this game? I absolutely adore. Oh, uh oh. I am gonna need. I'm gonna need an enemy. There we go. And we're just gonna carefully make our way up here. That's fine. Grab another uh, trapped Phantomillion. It doesn't explain it in the game, but in the manual, it's explained that the uh, the Phantomillions are trapped in nightmares. So we are rescuing them from their nightmares. They're in a little nightmare bubble. There's actually quite a bit of lore in the uh, in the manual that talks about Phantom Isle and um, things like the like the Mirror Spirit here, as well as uh, what led to uh, Gaddius and some of his reasons for doing what he's trying to do. But we'll pick it up, whoop, we will pick it up uh, in-game as well, so I won't ruin it by spoiling the the backstory for now. Suffice to say, he's, uh, he's, he's not been a very good boy. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to wait. Oh, I just, just barely made it on there, didn't I? Uh, well, I guess we'll just sit here and wait. <laughs> that was fun. It's been a long time since my timing has been not so not so great on some of these things. So it ends up, uh... Whoops. It ends up making little things like that happen, which is just super cute. Just all the little... All the little effects and details I, I just absolutely adore. Ah, oh, see, nope, there, we missed one. If I end up with 149 <laughs> Dreamstones for this stage, that would, uh, that would suck. That's okay. Okay, so here's what we do. We inflate this guy, he loses his shield, right? And then we'll grab this guy, jump on top, and do some, some double jumps. So we're slowly learning some uh, gameplay mechanics. You know, we can... We can't pick up the, the really big ones, but we can still inflate them big and round. Oop, I want those. Oop. I am... I'm just getting feisty and impatient. That's okay. There we go. Alrighty. Oh. Hupa, here's something. It's a fish! Grill it and eat it. <laughs> no, let's uh, let's push the switch. This is a great song. Th thank you and fa I'm, I'm I'm faved. <laughs> like, comment, and fave for fish. What happened here? Weirdos came here and messed up the castle. It got crazy! Maybe it was Gaddius. Yeah, probably. If you're going to the castle, I can take you there. But I, will, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, the fish. Can you save my mommy? I want my mommy back. 
She's probably under some evil spell. We'll give it a shot. Thank you. Hop on my back. I'm Karel. Pleased to meet you. Same here. I'm Klanoa. And I'm Hippo. All right. Let's head into the castle. Got to got to load up that load up that castle. So this is the castle. Oh, there he is. I am Seedoff, the king of this castle. Ah, you're the brat the mighty Gaddius spoke of. I knew it! Time for you to go away. Pamela! Ah, oh, Carl's mom. You're mine, brat! All right. There, I have seen some some cool techniques on how to beat this guy. I am unfortunately not super cool, so I'm gonna do it the only way that I know how to do it, which I believe is probably the intended way. I I have seen guys be able to to grab seed off. From on top of Pamel when he's when he's like lunging out at you, um, but I've never I've never I've never been able to do it myself. I didn't even know you could do it until the last year or two, and this game's been out for almost 25 years now. You know, that's okay though. I'm I'm pretty good at picking this dude up and smacking him in against the fish. Oh, I was too late. That's too bad. That's okay. We'll get to enjoy this music a little bit longer. It's a great song, isn't it? We just need to get one more hit in, and we are good to go. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. He's giving me a run for my money. All right, one more hit. Got him. Vision two of two is clear. And Pamela is looking much better. And so is the king. Choke. You call yourself the king of Jugpot and you get beaten by this brat? Weakling, useless. No good. Oh. I'll be back. Oh, Seedoff. You've been having a bad day, my friend. You were under a spell cast by that Gaudius character. I have a feeling he's plotting something against the Moon Kingdom. If that's the case, Forlock's granny is in grave danger. Granny knows a lot about ancient legends. She should know something about the Moon Kingdom. And that's why Jugpot's water was made to flow backwards, to kill off Forlock Forest. What an evil, ruthless fiend. We have to go back to Forlock. And Seedoff says, I shall return the water back to normal. The withered trees should come back to life. Hey, what's up, Karel? Take them back, Karel. Corral. I don't know. Mommy's back to normal, and that's all that matters. Not my pronunciation of things. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Back to Forlock Forest we go, and it is looking mighty green. Thanks, Corral. 
We'll see you soon. Bum, 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 ba -dum, dum. Vision three of three, rebirth of the forest. Forelock, the tree village. Welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale, ladies and gentlemen. I am having a great time celebrating the brand new release, or coming release, of Klonoa 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch and other platforms eventually. But right now, we're just having a grand old time. Saving dudes tied up in rope. We're not bad ones. We're good ones. Klonoa from the Wind Village. Alright, many thanks. You are welcome. <laughs> He's the guard of the gondola. Now the gondola works. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. But Choke is here. That annoying brat again. That leaves me no choice. Okay, guys, make sure to hide the key to the door well. Boy, I can hear people having fun outside. Somebody must have won the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. We're gonna head up the gondola. Ooh, that was loud. People are having fun outside. There we go. And we'll grab this move over here. And inside this is the key that I so desperately need. Oh, I missed the gondola. Damn. All right, we'll wait for it to come back around here. And I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to stress about that checkpoint. I'm. I'm good. We'll get more checkpoints in the future. Oops, ow. <laughs> they look so cute. All right, one key, one door, and away we go. See, look at that, we got a checkpoint right there. It's all good. All right. These little guys can be kind of a pain in the ass, so... Dealing with them quickly is always a good idea. Okay. I remember the first time I, I uh, when I owned this game, it took me a very long time to discover that you could throw things into the background... ...like that. When Joke told him to hide the key well, they weren't kidding. As a kid, it took me uh, many, many moons to find that key. But now that I am an adult, I know how to get the key easily. And that's okay. Alrighty. We're gonna hop over these little... Shellies, I believe is what they're called. Ow. 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 You guys are getting in my way. <laughs> okay. Point, point, point. Here we go. Come back. Come back, little guy. There we go. Let's pick up some dream stones. And we're very close to the end of the stage already. We've just got a few things we're going to need to do in order to get there. So I like to come down here and open this up first. Because it's a free move I can... Oops. I can easily grab that's constantly respawning. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really impatient. 
And a life. Lives are good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Those little bouncy springs, by the way, the way that those work is we kind of bounce on them naturally until uh, we choose to bounce higher, and we do that by pressing the jump button at the... Uh, oops, at the uh, bottom of the spring. It can be a little tricky. Oh! Oh, having a bad day! <laughs> There we go. Let's just be really precise about this. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get it somewhere else. Let's, let's move forwards, and we'll pick it up here in a bit. We'll have an easier, we'll have an easier shot. Ow. Ow! Oh my God! Leave me alone. All right, cool. I kind of want to just peg one of those guys. <laughs> okay. We've got a key. That'll open the door. And we can continue. We are on our way to Forlock Forest's granny. She knows a lot about ancient legends. And we believe she's in danger. Gaddius probably has his eyes on her. Okay, here we go. Pop that mirror spirit. Pick up another life. And we're doing good. This is going to speed up just a little bit here. That is okay, I know what I'm doing. And that health is much, much needed and much, much appreciated. Okay. And let's break this open. We're going to need to go back and get this guy again after he respawns. Okay. Take this across. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to... Just like that. Can we ride the gondola, please? Uh... Oh! I didn't activate the switch! <laughs> That's why! Okay, uh, we'll ride this back. I thought I could get away with it, but I guess I can't. So we'll run back here. We're gonna need to activate that switch. Now the trick is to not hit the, the moo. Perfect. That'll activate the gondola. Because if I hit the moo, he'll just pop into a bunch of dreamstones, but he's a little too far away for me to reach them yet and they'll disappear before I have a chance to pick them up. There we go. Let's open these flowers a little bit. See, look at that, I love the little, the little, um, those little, like, blue particles as the flower opens up. It's little things like that, you know, a lot of times when you see games get remastered or remade, they, uh, they don't include all those little tiny little details. I think either just because people don't notice, didn't notice them, or it's just too much extra work, or who knows what. But I really feel like those little details are what makes a game sometimes. Oh! The guard is here. Yippee! It's a uh, forelock greeting. And now we know. We want to go to Granny's place. You're after Granny too? No, not us! We want to save Granny. Granny's house taken over. Kicked out we were. Grrr. We were too late. 
but maybe not. Dangerous it is, but we're gonna go anyways. Yahoo! Okay. Save Granny. Hold on. Hold on to what, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Vision three of one clear. All right, we're on our way to Granny's house. Okay, and so far things are looking and sounding pretty good. I've been doing a pretty good job of collecting each of the uh, trapped phantomillions. All right, and again, we will save our progress after the next stage. Three of two, the stopped gear. The tree mansion of machinery. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna have to find our way to the top of Granny's treehouse using this new enemy, the Boomy. Hmm, excuse me. Let's see, now if I can remember correctly. The way that I want to go is this way first. Oh, I didn't need that yet. Force of habit. This is where we want to get to. We gotta turn the machinery back on so that that platform will move around. But we'll start by taking this key and we'll use it to open a locked door. This locked door, in fact. I'm gonna just swing around a couple times just because there's some there's some dreamstones I want to pick up. There we go. All right, so let's just do this one more time, and uh, we will open up this locked door. This is such a cool enemy. Um, the boomy is on a timer, so we can throw it, pick it back up again, and then use it a, a second time before they explode. And because they explode, we can use them to uh, open things on impact. Whoops, ow, it's picking you up. The only moo in the game that hops around from, from platform to platform. I think. Well, like that, at least. There's some, there's some others later on that like to run and hop from little platforms like this, but we won't see them for a while. There we go. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. That's okay. There we go. We've unlocked that gate. All right, let's make our way up here. I'm gonna run over and grab this dreamstone really quick. Wait for that guy to explode so I can pick up another one. And we got another life. I think that's a heart. I don't need it yet, but we'll leave it for now. Ah, joke. Door shut, check. Door locked, check. Hmm. Oh, here already. You're much too late, though. So long. There we go. There's a little trap guy right there. I will use this boomy to pick it up. Oh. <laughs> I guess maybe I won't. Ow, 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 come on! Oh, I give up. <laughs> there we go. Where are you? 
I mean, I, I'm gonna come back to this location, but I want this now. Give it to me. Oh my- oh! Come on. Got it. <laughs> Took intense concentration. Hyper-intensive concentration. Cool. I could use uh, I could use an extra heart. All right, we gotta open the door. Door's on a switch. Switch is on a timer. Oops. That's okay because we can grab a. Ow, God! I'm just getting hit left and right. We can grab a boomy. We'll wait for the boomy to explode, and when it does, it'll open the door, and we can get through in time. What do you got for me, Joke? If you want the key, come up here. But it's impossible, of course. <laughs> well, nothing's impossible for me. I've beaten the game before. But this is a great way to teach you how to... chain together your jumps. Look at him, he's got a little Sonic the Hedgehog run. I'm getting out of here! See ya! There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, we've got our key. We can head back to where we were just a little while ago. And we will use the key to open the door. You can see these levels are slowly getting a little bit longer and a little bit longer with each go. And let's see if I can remember the combination. I believe it's this. We have restarted the gear. Okay. Now that the gear is a turnin, let's go through here, pick up a heart. Oh, it wasn't a heart. Oh, I could have used a heart. We'll jump through here. Jump over here. And now we can make our way to the big gear. The big gear platform! See, I should have held onto that heart over here instead of picking it up early. All right. We are just about there. Let's carefully make our way to the top of Granny's house. And is there one more? There it is. I was a little concerned that I hadn't gotten them all yet. Okay, we're getting very close. Ow. Oh, give me that life. And give me that heart. And almost there, and made it. Okay, doing pretty good on time. Let's hope that we made it quick enough in order to save Granny. Come on, confess already! I'm gonna have to hurt you if you don't fess up! I'll say nothing! I... <laughs> Joker. If that's how it's going to be, well, you're really gonna get it now. Yeah, not if... Long ears over here has anything to say about it. What do you mean, stop? You nasty little pests! Ugh, I'll take care of all of you at once! Hurt them, Gelg Blom! Blom, Blom, Blom. Either way, 
Get ready for the most splendiferous DMB track you have ever heard. Look at the little particle effects. I love that. See, I feel like those are the little details you you end up losing when a game gets remastered. They just uh, they just either forget to put them in or or they don't for some, one reason or another. All right, let's knock into this guy one more time. Oh yeah, my timing. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Alright, we're doing okay. Big old piece of fruit. Oh, and away he goes. Gotcha. And a move for me. Oh, he's pissed. Here we go, boy. Oh, I missed him. That's okay. I'm enjoying the music. All right. One more hit and we are good to go. Oh, here comes another piece of fruit. Oh, this one's a lot bigger. There we go. Let's get one last hit in, and I think we are golden. Take that, Gilgblum. Bolm. Blom. Blim blam. Blim blam, blim it up! That little march drum, oh my god. What a day. And yeah, Granny's just like, ugh, I can't deal with this shit. Save them, I, many thanks. And don't mention it. Granny, seriously. Grandpa, by the way, asked about the moon pendant. Yes, I know, say no more. Dark spirit returns. Moon pendant. Diva Lifais. And the dream that creates this world. It is all according to legend. Legend says, Moon pendant, key to moon kingdom. Place offering on Temple of the Sun's pedestals. Then path opens. The Temple of the Sun. Oh, Hupao knows about it, though. There's a floating temple in the sky. A temple in the sky. How do we get there? Where is the moon pendant? Grana Granny asks. Grandpa's got it at home. The evildoers are looking for it. Hide it very well. Oh! You son of a... Alright, joke. What's going on, boy? The story was very, very interesting. Joke! You asshole! He's been spying on us. That's not fair. Why, this is all part of my plan. So the pendant is at home, right? Then I'll be on my merry way. Thank you, Granny, for the valuable information. So long, farewell! Grandpa's in danger, we've gotta hurry! Quick, wind ruins, shortcut to home, this way! That shortcut path full of danger, watch out! Well, I definitely will. Thank you very much, Granny. A village in danger, the ruin of the Wind Kingdoms. Welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear, and we are continuing to play Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. The original PlayStation 1 version. Soon to be re-released, remastered, whatever you want to call it, on the Nintendo Switch and potentially future consoles as well. Oops, I messed that up. Oops. Well, I got some 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 out of that. Oh man, I got like a stack of hold on. <laughs> I got a stack of napkins over here that's like being blown off my table because of because of the fan. <laughs> it is I I may have mentioned earlier, it is hot as balls lately. Um I live in San Francisco. Um and uh I don't know what's going on, but it's just it's just got real real hot. Okay. And up we go. Let's do one more. And in we go. Alright, we're gonna test my, uh, my... 
jumping skills a bit there. Perfect. All right, we made it. So, if you've forgotten somehow since the last episode, we are in a race back to Klonoa's home in the Wind Village. Grandpa is in danger. Joke is on his way to get the moon pendant from Grandpa. And we're not going to let that happen. Oops. Oh, I thought there was something over here. Crap. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. We'll just do this. There we go. Ow. Okay. And jump. Nicely done. He said, congratulating himself. Okay. Things are starting to get just a tad more tricky. That is okay. I am used to it. And we're just here to have fun, so, you know, if something happens, that's alright. This is such a great song. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. And one more to get up here. Okay. Careful. There we go. Yeah, the, uh, the wind instruments and pan flutes and things in this game were a major inspiration for me, um, musically, growing up. I had really never heard music like this. Um, so I got into a lot of, uh, like, Latin music, uh, and a lot of the, like, Peruvian pan flute music that became really popular for a short period of time here in, uh, I think just here in California, but um, but they were. There was a whole, you know, the, it was it was enough that South Park, you know, made a joke about it. So there you go. They made, yeah, they did a whole episode episode about Peruvian pan flute bands. Okay, Vision Four of One is clear. And with that, we are going to continue on to Vision 4 of 2 as we continue to run back and find Grandpa, who is in danger. And as, now that we know what's up above in the sky, the Temple of the Sun, Hupao's heard of it. And we will again save after the next one. Alone in the Wind, the Leviathan's Ice Cavern. This level, I think, is actually kind of tricky. Or can be. Gotcha. Okay. Yep, some of these some of these waterfall sections, these little auto scrollers, can be ever so slightly difficult. Oop. Missed one. Damn. <laughs> okay. One more. And there we go. Whoa! Watch out, Shelly. Ow. I just wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see that. This is a good song, too. 
And kaboom! <laughs> Seriously, one of my favorite games. I I still say if you if you're enjoying this game so far and you uh, you don't want to spoil things for yourself, feel free to just go pick up the game, play it for yourself. Um, or get very excited and, and wait a couple of months for the title to get re-released on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, otherwise, I hope you'll continue to enjoy watching me have a great time. Because I am having a great time. Eh. More... Oh, didn't really need that. Let's time that right. Alright, well, I got all of them. Good enough. All right, let's head back up top, wait for this guy to spawn. Such cool level design, seriously. All right. Let's see, I think we just come in here just to pick up uh, an additional trapped phantomillion. There we go. Last one. And we are just about there. There we go. And it looks like we made it. Grandpa! Oh, he's safe. Good. We made it. Don't like the sound of that. Well, that is not looking good. Oh, damn. This is not looking good. Ah, damn it. There it is, the moon pendant. Now Joke's got it. Well, to be more precise, that itty-bitty little green moo has it. All right, off we go. Joke, I am not happy. I am not pleased. That's close enough. Well, looks like you're a bit late to the party. Damn it, Joke. Why, isn't this the moon pendant I have here? Now, how did it get here? In any event, mission accomplished. Now I'll have to finish you off. Shit is getting serious. 
without further ado. So long! Oh man. Hands down, best boss in the game, best music in the game. Shortest boss in the game, but we'll do what we can. I might be a little rusty. This is the Balladium. Oh man, just listen to that beat. All right. Uh. Okay, two more. Oh shit, I missed it. Uh, these guys I can't pick up if I if I re recall. Crap. Okay. Let's see if I can grab. Got him. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, missed it. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, oh, another one. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to jump over this guy real quick. Shoot. I don't think you can pick them up. Yeah, they just they just block. They block your attacks. Well, that was fun. But it's time to finish this. Oh, I missed. Oh, I really am getting pretty rusty at this. I uh now I'm actually trying and I'm just failing. There we go. Oh, one left. You got to be kidding me. This is actually becoming a difficult boss fight, and normally it's not, because you can just take him out real quick. Oh my god. This is getting stupid. Oh, oh my god, I could die. I could die to the Balladium. This is, this is potentially stupid. Oh, got him. Oof. That was close. And you know what? I, I love that boss, and it's a, it's an, it's too easy for its own good. So I'm glad that it took a little longer than it needed to. How is Grandpa doing? Lenoa. Sorry. The pendant. Stolen. I'm done for. Did you see Granny? Good. You're a strong child. Klonoa, seems like fate will run its course. It was a short while, but it was wonderful. My great child of the wind. Get the pendant back. That is your... Your destiny. understand your feelings, but we have to get that pendant, Klonoa. It's... Pamela! I heard everything from King Sidoff and Granny. Now, climb on my back. Okay. We're off. We're going to the Temple of the Sun. Hmm. All right.
Ooh. Heavy. Emotional. Welcome back. It's Vision 5 of 1. The Four Orbs. Coronia. Temple of the Sun. We are playing Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle here on A Rabbit's Tail. My name is DJ Ear. Pamela says, I'm sorry, I don't think I can go where you're going with my body. <laughs> uh-huh, it's all right. Thank you. We'll be gone for a while. Be careful, Klonoa. All right, off we go. So this is the Temple of the Sun. What a place. Konoa and Kyupao, right? We've been waiting. What took you so long? And you are... I am Priest Solaire of Corneria. Cor Coronia. Sorry, Corneria is a place in Starbucks. Coronia, the Temple of the Sun. And the same goes for me, Soleil. French, by the way, like Cirque du Soleil, in case you were pronouncing it Soleil for some reason. Solaire and Soleil. Yeah, Clono was confused on that as well. They knew we were coming, I wonder why. By the way, did you see a bunch of weirdos come this way? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Take a look, look at it. Those four pedestals. An orb must be placed on each one to open the door to the altar. Need orbs, but the orbs have all been taken by followers of Gadius without permission. Unfortunately, we're not good at fighting. You mean we're wimps? Please. Can you help us get the four orbs back? You think you're tough enough? We beg you. We'll get nasty if you fail. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're going to Disneyland! Alright. Let us continue forwards. We are gonna need to collect four orbs. Whoa! That moved quickly. So, yeah, I'm continuing to play this game in celebration of. The newest entry to the Klonoa franchise. A remaster of Klonoa 1 and 2. Oops. Gotcha. Uh, coming to the Nintendo Switch. And then soon it will be on other platforms as well. There we go. So I'm really looking forward to being able to play this eventually, um, or the remaster, excuse me, uh, eventually on, uh, like, Steam, um, because I am sure someone will find a way to make the game run in, uh, 4K with, you know, uh, ray traced lighting and all sorts of cool stuff. You know, if they can do it for Breath of the Wild, I'm sure they can do it for Klonoa. And I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, I did that really wrong. It's been... It's been ten years since you looked... Um, I, I have not played this game in quite a while. Uh, as much of a fan of it as I am. So I am definitely rusty. That's okay though. Ooh, a golden root. I'm just gonna wait for that fire to go down a little bit. There we go. Uh, there was a dude down there. Schnikes. Um, can I get? Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to remember, was there a better way to get through that? To get that, that egg? Oh, I have to get that later on. Well, that was worth killing my- almost killing myself over. 
we will we'll get that later um, here in a bit when we when we collect the blue orb. Okay. Love this game. Absolutely love this game. Huge inspiration for me growing up. And a surprisingly, surprisingly deep game uh, for something that looks like it's for children. So I, I highly recommend playing it, getting into it. Um, I'm going to see about playing the, uh, the sequel on my YouTube channel as well. Oh, I missed the platform. Oop, and I'm knocking into my microphone now. Okay. It's getting a little late tonight, though, which is, which is nice because, uh, as I've previously mentioned, it's been hot as balls. collected not doing great on my health like practically killed myself trying to get this that's okay we'll uh, we'll be all right okay that's two orbs down now we need to go for the green and yellow orbs over on the right hand side of the temple I don't know why there wasn't more video games like this made. Maybe 2.5D is really difficult to uh, to pull off. I feel like it's such a unique uh, style of game, though. Ugh, crap. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna go this way yet. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. I believe that's on our way to the green orb, so we'll either go there first or second, I forget, I forget which. Uh, we'll go there first. Let's see. There we go, we got a checkpoint. At least we're picking up checkpoints in case I... in case I die. I... uh... -huh. There we go. Open the next door. Oops. Come on. And across. And there's the final door. Okay. I think down here, yes. I could use those um, after my stupidity earlier. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let these guys just kinda run around a bit. There we go. And as they come on back... <laughs> well, they tried. You, you gotta give them credit for trying. One orb to go, and... one more Phantomillion to save. You can see these levels are getting longer and longer. And a little bit more complicated in the platforming department as well. Okay. 
Ow. That was uncalled for. Alright, there's the last orb. Alright, here's the section I'm sure to mess up. Ready? Oh, yeah. Nailed, nailed it. <laughs> no, I definitely did not nail it. Okay. Little, little spiky moo guy. Cool. There's our last person to rescue. Oh, that worked. I would have fallen down and died, but that guy uh, bumped me in. And that's okay, because we've got the last orb, and we've made it. Look at that, just beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Whoa! Well done, not bad. The path to the altar has been opened. The high priest will be surely happy to. Be happy, you have our permission. Uh, hmm? What is it, Nagapoko? Those are little Nagapokos. A solar eclipse! Is this some kind of joke? Gadius, he has the moon pendant. Obviously. Dumbass. Gadius, who's that? <laughs> the dark spirit Gadius is bewitched by nightmare. He has awakened from a 3,000 year sleep and now seeks revenge. In other words, Mr. Evil himself. There is still time. Go to the altar before the seal is broken. What are you waiting for? How about you guys? We're pacifists. We're wimps. We told you already. <laughs> Enter the light. It won't hurt. We promise. Okay. And away we go. Alright, well, we are making our way up to the upper section of Coronia, the Temple of the Sun to stop Gaddius. I just want to hear what the what the song sounds like so far. Ooh, I like that. It's a nice little ending. Okay. Let us continue. We will save after the next. Vision 5 of 2 between light and darkness. High above Coronia. What is that? Hey, are you alright? My aching head. Thank you, I was ambushed. I am the High Priest, Mori. Mori? Solaire. Soleil. Mori. I don't know. He's the keeper of this sanctuary. Clono, we gotta hurry the fuck up. That's right, where's Gaddius? Too late. The moon gate has been opened. The kingdom of legend will return soon. The moon kingdom crest gathers up dream power and gives shape to Phantom Isle. That is, everything you see around you. Gaddius wants to replace that dream with nightmares and set loose evil unto the world. Don't give up now, Klonoa. Even if the moon kingdom appears, we can still stop Gaddius. We will make it in time. We've got to hurry. Very well. I leave everything up to you. Go ahead to the sanctuary. The eclipse gives power to evil ones. Take advantage of your enemies while there is light. While there is light? Yes, while there is light. Well. Time to play quickly.
Oops. So now you might you might have noticed uh, we're on a bit of a time crunch. Crap. So certain platforms and enemies and objects will appear only while the eclipse is in place. So we're going to need to be careful about what we do, where we do it, and when we do it. Hey, uh... Let's see, can I make it? Made it. Even if you're holding an enemy, as soon as it, the eclipse comes on, your enemy will pop, and you won't have it anymore. Um, I think I want to go in here first. Let's travel across this way first. There we go. Alright, we are continuing into the upper sections of Cress, the Moon Kingdom. Ow. It's getting a little, little goofy. Why, thank you. There's like three or four songs associated with this one stage. It's pretty crazy. There's a lot going on here. But that's what I love about a game like this. It uses all those all those musical elements to help shape, you know, what's happening around you. Oh. Oh. Messed that up. Well, here we go. <laughs> Not a 100% run, just here to have some fun in celebration of Klonoa's 25th anniversary. Oh, I want that. Yeah. I don't I don't care if I miss those dreamstones. That's okay. Hardcore Clonoa fans. How could you? <laughs> uh let's see, this way first, I think. Go back and grab this guy right here. Ah, much needed health. There we go. And I believe we want to go up this way. going here first. Okay. So we're slowly making our way towards the center and heading up. Ow! Dude! for this guy. Wow. 
watch this. There we go. See, I didn't need an enemy to get up here. I can do it on my own. Oh boy. All right, we are making our way to the top of the Tower of the Sun. Doing okay. Doing okay. Grab some Dreamstones here. Get ourselves a checkpoint. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. I kind of like the song for the eclipse. It's pretty cool. And that sound, I think, means that the door is open. Can I grab this move and get out of here before he pops? Nope. <laughs> that was close. We almost, we almost did. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the top of this tower. Dodge this fire. There we go. And time to head on upstairs and see who comes knocking. All right, where are we? Ah, it's you, little brat. Uh, chokes in trouble. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> These young ones, they're so strong. <laughs> uh, Gaddius, what do you want? Want? <laughs> this is just simple revenge. Yes. Fools with foolish dreams like you imprisoned me in darkness. Well, I'll plunge all of you and your world into a sea of nightmares. We have the Diva of Ice in our hands. The Moon Kingdom will bear the Egg of Destruction and soon appear upon to... Un up, up in here these lands. <laughs> the time has come. We have to follow him. Oh, Joke is pissed. Can't you see? If we can't settle it once and for all here, I can't live with myself. We'll see. Witness my powers of darkness. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can take care of this guy as quickly as possible. He can be a pain in the ass. And I am rusty. Ooh, shit. I didn't even see that there. Got him. How many more hits can we get before it gets too dark? There we go. All right, Joke. Do your thing, baby. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let's make some music. All right, back the way we came. Uh, I'm going to go this way. There's less enemies. Suddenly, there's more enemies. Ow. Here we go. Almost there. Where's that heart? 
Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Yes, I can. <laughs> Screw you. Look at that health bar on him, though. Oh, it's a big one. All right, there's a hit. Can we get one more hit? Yes, we can. How about one more hit? Ah! One more, one more. Nope. Ah, yeah. Uh... There we go. All right, I don't feel too bad now. That could have been a wasted uh, bit of time before the eclipse. Now we just need to survive once more in the ring. All right, joke. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Oh, let's go back and get these. Oh. Oh, watch out, little guy. Ow. Oh, that was close. He could have knocked me right off. There we go. All right, joke. I just need to get a couple more hits in, and you're done, son. All right. Oh, come ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh, there's one. Ow. Come on. You are done. Vision five of two clear. Take that, joke. You asshole. Your time seems to be up here. Shamed, defeated, dishonored. But ugh, the time has come. Listen well. The sound of the Moon Kingdom's return. You'll end up in darkness, in a nightmare, in a world of nothingness. Vision 6 of 1, the legendary kingdom, Cress, the Moon Kingdom. Welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear, and Klonoa and co. have made it to the Moon Kingdom, the kingdom of Cress.
Thanks, Pamela. We will be careful. All right, let's go, Hupo. Mm. What's the matter, Hupo? Gadius, his plans. We've got to put an end to it. All right. We have made it. We are close to the end of this game. The Kingdom of Cress. Whoops. Ah, whoop. Oh, where am I going? There we go. Ooh, that was tricky. Whoa. There we go. Ooh, I really had to concentrate for that one. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I had to concentrate for that one, too. All right. We took out that red pedestal so we can head up top. We'll find the red pedestal. It's probably all the way back in the other direction. Oh, no. Here it is. Okay, good. So the next one will be the green pedestal. I believe. We'll see. Oh my god. Well, clearly not the green pedestal. We can't go there yet. I really wanted those... Those dream stones. Aya, let me up. Let me in. Well, now I want this. Okay. Just an easy path to the exit. Extra life. There goes the blue one. Okay, so blue is done. Whew. When I get all concentrate I get all quiet. Alright, so we'll head over to the blue pedestal. I think it's going to be this way. Mm-hmm. It's underneath the yellow one. Well, I didn't need that yet, I don't think, but that's okay. Alright, let's just make our way over... Whoop! Good enough. <laughs> All right. Well, that works. <laughs> Oh no. Let's take this guy and go like this. <sighs> Probably some of the most relaxing and peaceful music in this entire game. If I do say so myself. Uh, see, we've come back here. 
we knew we would be back. Oh. Well, how can I get up there then? There we go. You gotta be clever. Something I usually am not. <laughs> All right. Head on through this section again. We're just making our way through Cress, the Moon Kingdom. So yeah, if you are enjoying Klonoa, I, I keep saying this, but uh, you know, hey, if you don't want to be spoiled by the story or the ending or anything like that, feel free to go pick up the game yourself and play it and enjoy it, and uh, or or just wait until the uh, the game comes out here soon on the Nintendo Switch. Um, otherwise, if you choose to stick around and watch me continue to have some fun here, by all means. Uh, I say stop on by every single week. I'll have a new episode out. Um, and we'll continue to play through Klonoa until we get to the end. There we go. I don't need the rest of those. Alright, now things get a little tricky. Oh. One more. Ah, oh, poo. Because <laughs> I missed that first one and I was like, oh, I want that first one. Oh well. I love the sound that those make. They look so nice, too. They look nice and shimmery. You know, I was, I was saying uh, in a previous episode, you know, a lot of times when a game gets, like, remade, sometimes little details disappear like little sparkly glowy details or uh, particle effects things like that I felt like the uh, the Clon uh, not Clon the crash bandicoot uh, insane trilogy um, a lot of details were lost in crash bandicoot 2 um, just with the way that lighting lighting was and things like that. Oh, come on. All right, let's get up here. All right, well, at least I got a heart back for it. And we took out the yellow one. So we'll head back here and go through the yellow passage. Oh yeah. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Six of one clear. And with only one more vision left to go, or half a vision, uh, we are close to completing our little orchestra here. Won't that be fun? <laughs> uh, I love the way that they uh, they they allow it to end so so carefully. Ah, uh, we'll just go ahead and save it now. Uh, depending on how many people that you've rescued. It's so clever. The time of restoration, the prism corridor. Hupo! Hupo! Sir Hupo! Uh, Hupo. Oh, Hupo. sir, we've been waiting for you. Hupo. Our kingdom has been taken over by someone named Gadius. We were careless. He trapped Lefice into the egg below and is now pouring energy from nightmares inside it. Mother? Huh? If that egg is released, it will be disastrous for everyone. 
Yupao says, I understand, mother. Please keep out of harm's way. Yupao, who are you? Mm. Mm. Who are you, Hupa? As if I don't already know. <laughs> I'm really the Prince of Cress, the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> like, excuse me? <laughs> but, but, the Ring Spirit was my disguise. I had a reason to go into the outside world. Reason? I'm sorry, I can't say anything about that now. But I promise, I promise to tell you everything later. You, pal. I want you to just trust me. Just a little bit more. Can you help us just a little bit more, Klonoa? Hupa, what are you talking about? Yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> We've been friends forever, right? You found yourself a fine friend. Queen. With no name, just Queen. Big old W! Mother, please find someplace safe. Yeah, they're counting on Hupo, not me. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, the prism in the center of the stage. Alright, we're gonna have to make our way through a series of doors. And there we go. Ooh. That was a little tricky, but it gets more tricky than that. Look at that, there's uh, Gaddius in the background on that, uh, on that stained glass. Oops, ow. Uh, I could actually die on this stage, it's entirely possible. I make plenty of mistakes on this level. Oh, especially these guys. Come on. Oh! See? That should've... He should've landed on top of that and it killed him. <laughs> oh well, I guess not. There we go. I'll move that out of the way for me. Oh, I remember the first time playing this game, getting to, getting to this point and just being completely engrossed. Totally, totally into everything going on. Like, stakes were high, man. Oops, didn't do that right. Oh well. <laughs> All right. We've gone from the crescent door to the, I believe the next, the next door is going to be the half moon. There's a name for those types of moons, I forget what they are. Waning Gib Gibness? Something. For our sake, we will just call it the half moon. Oop. Yeah, okay. Let's make our way on up. Yep, there's the crescent door. That's what I thought. The half moon. Here we go. Alright, little guys, bring it on. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Oh, good enough. <laughs> I'm always get excited with myself whenever I make one of those because it's it's tricky. Oop. Hey, hey, come back here, I need that. There we go. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Come on. Someone want to help me up? Please. Ow. I hate waiting for these platforms. I will lose so much health doing this. There we go. Alright, let's be let's be careful about this and do this the right way. There we go. Alright. Line ourselves up, hit the switch. And open up the next section. We are on our way. I'm gonna get to the top of this top of the Kingdom of Cress and stop Gadius and his nefarious schemes. Oh. Let's pop this guy once just to pick up some stones. Okay, so... There we go. Ooh, the amount of practice I've had to do to get good at those timings. Alright, so we've gone from the crescent moon to the half moon to the... I think the, the final door is a... Is it a full moon or quarter moon? I forget. Well, we will find out here in just a bit. There's the crescent. There's the half. Eh, it's a full moon. Okay. Oh, missed one. Great. <laughs> All right. That's too bad. There we go. Not going to walk away from a freebie like that. go. Take these guys out. They're called Shellies. Just like the ones from Forlock Forest. Uh, oh no, Spiked Shellies. Actually, yeah, they, they are called Spiked Shellies. And there's a big ol' one. Okay. Get over here. We're gonna ride this platform back across so that we can double jump and take out this spiked Shelly. There's our last trapped Phantomillion of the game. 
we'll open up this next section. And then uh, we've got a bit of a climb coming up. We'll see what we can do about it. Now, I'm smart. I've died enough times playing this game in the past to know not to grab that that heart right off the bat. Yep. These things just if when when you're impatient like I am, these things tend to just not line up the way you want them to. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Doing good on time. Alright, let's wait for those... I forget what the flying moves. Wait for the flying moves to come on back. There we go. Got it. With a bit of a mistake thrown in there as well. Okay. Let's continue. Oh boy. We've got one door left to walk through, and then it's on to the end. Here we go. Victory lap. <laughs> Okay. Soon, the Nightmare Crystal Nahatum will be ready. But what is this dream? A dream that cannot be corrupted by nightmares. It must be removed. It must be eliminated. For the creation of the perfect not 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 dip bop bibbidi bop <laughs> A visitor, a traveler of foolish dreams. I'll drop the voice. Yo! How amusing. I did not anticipate you following me all the way here. <laughs> oh, I love doing evil voices. Are you kidding? Looks like you're a little too late, though. Why are you doing this? Why? I am tired of this foolish world that neglects nightmares and relies only on good dreams. This is reason enough. What gives you the right to do this? When Nahatum is unleashed, you'll be erased too. Nahatum, Natum, something like that. It doesn't matter. I have already been abandoned by the world. This time it's my turn to throw the world away. Very well. Meet your doom. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, Rhymony. Right out of the gate. Fell for his trap. All right. Well, we don't want to touch those. That's for sure. Alright, got some good pot shots in on him. Oh, 
He's flipping the ring. Oh, come on! Damn it. Come on, Gaddius. Come on. Damn it. I'm close though. We're, we're really, really close. Just a couple more hits, and this fool is gone. <laughs> Shit! Alright. Back again. Crap. There we go. Just like that. You're done, son. Okay. We did it. We're going to listen to the song. Welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear. We just defeated Gaddius here on Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. I'm having a great night in celebration of Klonoa's 25th anniversary and the re-release of his two big console titles coming soon to the Nintendo Switch and then to other platforms as well. <laughs> It's Baloo! I thought I'd have a chance to get him. I knew you were up to the challenge. Peace! It will return! Well done, well done. Thank you, Karel. I'll take that congratulations. And Queen! My Queen! <laughs> Everyone's here! I suppose we can finally celebrate. I don't know about that. The nightmare energy is already full. It has taken over Diva Lefice's body. And Natum shall be born any time now. The world's dreams passed through a prism, a source of all that is phantomile. As long as those dreams exist, no one can stop Natum. It can't be! We're not finished yet! I can't believe it! This strange dream, Nahatum will destroy it. Hear this strange dream. Your world is finished! And this is the beginning of the perfect nightmare! <laughs> Shit is getting real! Oh, the egg. We didn't stop it in time. Oh, chunky boy. Natum is alive. Gaddius, he poisoned it with his nightmare. The queen says there's still hope. There's a final power left by our ancestors for this day. It is time to combine the strength of the five tribes. Please, please help me. Come on, everyone. Quickly, let's go above. All right. Away they go. 
Come on, let's get going. Konoa, Nahatum is is really after you. Why me, son? The strange dream Gaddius spoke about is you, Klonoa. What did you Hold up. I don't know what what wait just a darn minute. What the heck is going on around here? There's no time to explain. The nuclear missiles are coming. All right. We're going to have to we're going to have to figure all that out later. Here he comes. Here comes a chunky boy. He's a demon. Boy, here we go. What are these? Your ancient weapons? The moon cannons that have been passed down since ancient times. By the way, as a huge Klonoa fan, I'd just like everyone to stop and pay attention to how many times the queen says, Chupo Peepo Poppy. Listen carefully. Anyways, we're gonna pass inflated enemies onto the cannons and that will act as ammunition. Alright, here comes a big old boy. Big old chunky boy. I'm gonna do my best not to get eaten by him because uh, he likes to vor me and I do not enjoy it. All right, it begins the final vision, the dream at nightmare's end in the skies of Cress. Oh, oh, the little black ones are called death moves. Or no, the little blue one is called a death move. The little black ones are armored death moves. That's right. I know a lot about these video games. Oh, shit. And one more. All right, queen. My queen! I know what's coming. All right, one more time. There he is. That's what I want is that little blue one. Let's see, can we get to Solarian time? Yep. And the last one is Baloo. Let's dodge that tongue. Oh crap. He got me on the little the little hill. Not fun. That takes off two hearts. I think. Oh, it didn't take off any hearts at all. Let's see. If I can grab one before he gets rid of him. Come on. Man, I am rusty. Alright. There we go. All the cannons have been loaded. Dodge the attack. Load and fire. Ooh! Yeah, that'll do it. He's like Kirby. He's like a big, evil Kirby. Man, I really wish I had some more health. Alright, what you got for me? Some crystal! Alright, here we go. Alright, there's one. I'm gonna try really hard not to, uh... There's two. Shit. Come 
There's three. Ah. Oh. There we go. There's four. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be challenging when we get to the uh, to the end of this boy. I'm, I'm running low on health. Come on. Just need to get one more hit. Shit. Oh, I chucked that one. I didn't need to chuck that one, and I chucked that one. Oh, crap! The longer we stay here, the more opportunities he has to get stupid pot shots in on me. There we go. Now, can I beat this game without taking two hits? <laughs> we are certainly going to find out. Oh, probably the second best song in the game. Ah, that smarts. Is everyone all right? All of us will hide here, because why not? These platforms should protect us. I guess we have no choice. Pass the enemy down when the time timing is right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. He's going full on Kirby mode. There we go. Seed off is locked in. Going back this way. Baloo is locked in. Who else do we got? Here comes the queen. Queen is locked in. Oh, this is gonna be close. Who's next? Solar is locked in. No, no, Morai. Ooh, that was close. Time to run. Oh, I don't have time. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to catch up to the queen over on this side. Not the queen, Granny. Oh, did I make it? We made it. Yes! Take you out! No hits! No hits! No damage! <laughs> this is it, Klonoa. Put me on a wind bullet and shoot me into Nahatoom. What's gonna happen to you, Hupo? Don't worry, bro. I got this. We have to win with both of our strengths combined. Here we go. Take that! Boom, chick, ba, chick, boom, chick, ba, chick. Well, that looks promising. Oh, it's the diva. What do you got to say for yourself, lady? Running off, get captured like that. Yeah, I don't Thank you. That's it. Oh, all the nightmares have disappeared. Well, that's great! 
Look at them sprite works. My goodness. I'm assuming they're not actually sprites. I'm, I'm assuming that they were all CG characters that were turned into sprites. Uh, our little our little blue friend Cyan, our little Cyan friend is still here with us. Oh. We'll be together always. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just a little tired, and you're beat up all over. Don't worry. I'm not gonna let you go. I won't let you go. How are your wounds healing? Oh, you should take it easy. Besides, there's no more not to to worry about. Are you gonna go back to the Moon Kingdom? Hmm. But we can see each other soon, right? We can play together just like before. Well, uh, you're actually, you really, you don't really exist in this world. I called you from your world, so we could restore the balance of dreams. It's true. This world is not your reality. But no! I remember everything. The first time you met with me, and I met with you. Playing together with you. Oh, that didn't come out right. They're fake memories that I made. You believed them. No. It's a lie! It's a lie! Multiple times the same thing. It's not, though. It's the truth. That strange dream Gaddy spoke of. Your presence in our world is like a strange dream. No. When Lefai sings her song to renew the world, you won't be able to stay in this world. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying. But you won't be able to.
And that is the end of Klonoa, Door to Phantom Isle. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. This has been so much fun. I, I am extremely excited for Fantasy Reverie, I believe that's the name, to, to be released. Um, the, the Klonoa 1 and 2 collection coming soon to Nintendo Switch and then to other platforms as well. Um, yeah, I've, I've said before, I, I first picked this game up. I still have my physical copy of it um, back when it was originally released here in, in North America. And I, I had played a demo of it on a PlayStation Underground disc. Um, it was a great, great demo disc. It had... Klonoa and Gex 3 and Einhander, which I definitely need to share with everyone uh, at some point. And the music in Klonoa and just the visual arts style um, really grabbed my attention. Well, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> the book is full of lag. <laughs> uh, emulation can be uh, interesting sometimes. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll need to get a new uh, PlayStation emulator. EPSXE uh, seems to be sometimes great, sometimes not so great. It really depends. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy and I'm really excited, and uh, I hope you'll all help me to celebrate Klonoa's 25th anniversary by picking up a copy uh, of the upcoming collection when it releases uh, in a few months. Thanks you so much for stopping by, and I will see you on the next episode of A Rabbit's Tale. Take care.